Good evening, everyone. It is indeed time for Kong's last stand. Will he survive? We shall see. Yeah, I'd like to stream War of the Monsters at some point. I'll probably put out a poll after I finish this game, asking you guys what you'd like to see me play next. Because I'm going to be stuck inside for a while anyway, so might as well. <clears throat> Will I ever review Rampage? Yes. I've seen that movie once, but I'll, I'll have to watch it again with a critical eye. I'm of a mixed mind on when it comes to the Rampage movie. Because I, I like the games, and I don't think the movie captures the spirit of the games at all. Alright, it's 8 o'clock, let's get started. Are you okay? Let's go! When we get back, I'm gonna apply for the Javelin Olympics. Missed. Get away! God, 
Where's the spear? Where's the spear? Oh my god. If I could make a modern Godzilla game that's truly good, what would you make? Honestly, it would be similar to this game, except, you know, dividing the game up between human parts and monster parts. I don't know if anybody played the uh, Godzilla, what was it called, Godzilla Strike Force on the phone when the 2014 film came out. You got to play as Ford on the ground during the final battle, and for as crappy as the game was, you could see how cool it would be to play on the human side of things during a giant monster fight in a video game if it was just done well. Yeah, Smash 3, I played that. I played the crap out of that game. It was fun for what it was. One of those puzzle games. Can't find it anymore, though, as far as I know. Ooh, there he goes. How are we supposed to get through this? Yeah, a console game where you get to play on the human side during a giant monster battle, but then you also get to switch to Godzilla. That's the best Godzilla game, but it has yet to be made. Maybe one day. Somehow I doubt it though. Thank you, Joey Chapman. I do plan on uh, doing them. Do I speak Portuguese? Hell no. I speak no other languages. Maybe a, cup, a little bit of Spanish, and that's being generous. In a Godzilla game like that where you play as the human side, obviously you'd have to come up with like little, little, little monsters that uh, are on the ground for you to fight. But you could do that. Kind of like maybe like the little Legion minions from uh, Gamera 2. Shrub Burner Simulator. Yeah, I do have the SH Monster S Godzilla 2019. Uh, mine looks good as far as I can tell, so you might have a, a defunct one, unfortunately. Because mine looks great. Them. 
See, stuff like this, just being able to like burn the shrubs, it's such a simple thing, but it really helps like immerse you in the world. I remember thinking even back in 2005, like, this is so awesome. Nowadays, people are just like, yeah, yeah, whatever. Do I believe in the Loch Ness Monster, Area 51, Bermuda Triangle? Not really, no. I mean, I'm open to it, but... No, we came from this way. I'm getting distracted. I will try to review every kaiju film under the sun. <laughs> there we go, I found it. We're almost to the wall. Well, you're way ahead of me. Jack, look. This is where it all started. Just a few short hours ago. Hey, Robert Bohannon. Something's not right. Let's hurry up and get through here before anyone sees us. It's our only chance to get back to the ship. I know what I'm gonna do. Come on, Jack. Wait, what? What are you gonna do? You know, it's funny you mentioned that, Aiden Jack, Smith. I just watched that today. To help you get Cinema wins King of the Monsters. <laughs> Anne, there's something I want to tell you. What is it you want to tell me? I love you. Jack! Anne, come back! No! Not again. You take my lady. Stupid humans. I never liked you anyway. Did I just get shot? something up oh my back oh, that's not what I wanted to do
Yay, I found you. King Kong Lives is the worst King Kong movie ever. I mean, yeah, by default. Although I guess I enjoyed it more than Son of Kong. On Kong's shoulder. Don't stay here. You need to go back. You're in danger. Please. To Kong can handle anyone, even a big giant green lizard. It's Jack Black. Hurry. Where am I going? Kong feels drowsy. Oh. Yeah, Codex Machina, that is true. The N the NYC part of the game feels very tacked on compared to the rest of it. You can tell that they were just kinda that was the part of the game where they kinda just rushed through it. They focused all their effort on the Skull Island part, which, you know, when push comes to shove, is probably the right call. Have I ever heard of Mighty Mighty Kong? <laughs> I almost read that as Mighty Joe Young. Yeah, I've heard of it. Never seen it though. I didn't realize I was this close to the ending. <laughs> You can play this game without Steam. You just just download an emulator. That's how I'm playing it. It's called Dolphin. Just Google Dolphin emulator. Download that. Then download the the ROM for King Kong. You can play it. It's an old game, so you should be able to play it on a decent computer. Well, that was easy. Yeah, Aiden Smith, no alternative ending. I was gonna try, but I looked it up and you have to get- you have to replay the levels to get a certain score. Haven't done that, so it's not possible. Oh. Got- pick up the car. Fine, I'll go.
Come here, human. Hello. Yeah. There, I got him now. Are you my friend? I can't see you. Kong isn't that bad. My god, this angle. Get get up. Fine, I'll just throw the car at him. Throw the car. Get out of here! I always used to take my time with this level and destroy everything I possibly could. Oh, bad idea. Oh crap, oh crap. Oh! Oh my god, that angle messed me up. Oh! Kong don't like it when you shoot at Kong. Kong, give gift. That guy got messed up. You'll destroy everything in his way. He's going to watch you by stick. Evacuate the whole neighborhood. We have to stop him. Cinema Sense does suck. I don't know how anybody can watch those videos. They're way too long.
Hey, look, the invisible man. Did anybody see the remake recently? It was pretty good. Fine, Kong will move the bus. No! Ugh. You Kong run. I'm going to take you up the Empire State Building now. Kong thinks this is a good idea. Uh oh, the sad music's playing. I don't like this. Get over here. Gotcha. God, the relentless. My back. Gotcha. Well, that was fast. I remember this being a lot longer. <laughs> Kong die now. He's dead in like the exact same position he was asleep in. That ending feels so tacked on. It wasn't the airplanes. It was beauty killed the beast. Yeah, I did get shot up bad. I remember when I used to play this, I used to like drag it on for a really long time. It's been way too long. They owned me.
Well, that was Peter Jackson's King Kong, the official game of the movie. Yeah, I got a couple of the airplanes. Not too bad. More than King Kong did in the original movie. You saw the original King Kong movie and personally like the original Godzilla better. I mean, I think the original Godzilla is better than King Kong 2. Yeah, I think the best thing about this game is just the atmosphere. I think I played this like four or five times when I was a kid. And I, it never got old just because it was so impressive back when it came out. And for a movie-based game, usually those are just phoned in. I think it's because Peter Jackson actually had a hand in making this game. His production studio was attached to it, so it wasn't just... Oh, make the game and put it out when the movie comes out. I think there's even a making of on the game. If I remember correctly. Thanks, Robert Bohan. I love you too. Alex, I can't agree with that because I actually have talked to Blue Nova multiple times. He's a nice guy. He just has different opinions, and that's fine. So does anybody have like any opinions about what game I should play next? I was thinking either trying Shadow of the Classes again or doing a... Uh, what is it called? City Shrouded in Shadow? Yeah, Inspector Who Reacts. The soundtrack of this game is awesome. Like you can listen to it by itself. It holds up. No, Howard Shore didn't do the music. I don't I don't know who did it. I could Google it. Chance Thomas is the name of the composer. What movie am I going to review tomorrow? Well, it's connected to uh, Frankenstein Conquers the World, so that should be a, a big hint to what that is. Unknown Goji, I don't think you know what a boomer is. A boomer is way older than I am.
Austin Amos, I already played Godzilla Save the Earth. I'm kind of... I think I exhausted that game. Do I like 2005 King Kong or 33? Personally, I prefer the 2005 one. Do you hate Attack on Titan movies? I've been meaning to watch them. I heard they're not good. Is pronounced Ames. Sorry. <laughs> My bad. Do I hate the Godzilla anime trilogy? I don't hate it, it's just not my favorite. I hate it less. Well, I shouldn't say hate it less. I like it more than I used to. I appreciate it, its existence. What are my hopes for Godzilla vs. Kong? That it's good? That it has a nice balance between like an interesting story and monster fights? I would like to try the alternate ending, but I'm not sure. I know you have to get a certain score on all the levels when you replay them to get it. Oh yeah, I remember this. Do I like King of the Monsters more than I did before? Yeah. I came out slightly underwhelmed when I first saw it, but that was expectations. I think Peter Jackson made at least one movie after King Kong. He made The Lovely Bones, I think. And then, of course, The Hobbit movies. So he was pretty busy for a while. Not a big fan of The Hobbit trilogy. That's pretty cool. You know, I'm surprised I didn't put the spider pit sequence in the game. That would have been like an intense, like, horde mode type situation where you just gotta fend off tons of insects. 
spiders. Spiders are missing, miss potential in this game. You got the little ones that you got to distract from the levers and stuff, but big spiders, that would have been scary. Jack, you need to you need to get to the gym or something. So you are winded very quickly. Godzilla Telltale game that's could be interesting but that'll never happen because Telltale is dead someone else could do it though oh Kong looks so sad right there The best and worst things about this game. Best is the atmosphere and the lack of, and the the cool, innovative use of the lack of a HUD of any kind, and using auditory signals to kind of tell you what to do. The worst thing is Kong's controls can be a little wonky, and the switching of the camera angle can really throw you for a loop sometimes. And not enough Kong. I would have liked to play him a little more. Am I concerned with Godzilla vs. Kong's box office? Yeah, I mean, King of the Monsters didn't do that well, so I'm super concerned. I mean, hopefully it'll do better because it's got Kong in the title, so hopefully it'll at least do a little better. Dude, I think Kong should be bigger or smaller than Godzilla. I would prefer a little smaller just because he's... He should be the underdog. He was the underdog in the original, too. He should always be the underdog to Godzilla. That should be the dynamic between the characters. Do I think Godzilla vs. Kong will have a definitive winner? I know Adam Wingard, the director, said there would be, but I'm still doubtful because you're riling people up either way. Though it depends on how they do it. Test screening said there will be? Okay. I haven't really paid much attention to that. I'm gonna try to stay a little f further back from all the hype this time, just because it, uh, it affected my initial viewing of King of the Monsters, and I don't want that experience again. My favorite Godzilla movie, aside from the obvious ones, is Godzilla vs. Biolante. 
I have to try to say Biolante because I consistently say Biolante, even in my videos. And then only after the fact I realize that I said it. Technically, I said it wrong. So I'm trying to correct that. Putting Mechagodzilla in Godzilla vs. Kong isn't a good idea. It depends on how they do it. In my pitch for Godzilla 2 after 2014 came out in my head, I had Mechagodzilla in it. Because I think there's a good way to do it. Do I think Godzilla vs. Kong will see a digital release? No. That would be a huge mistake, in my opinion. If you have to hold it off you hold off because who wants to sit there and watch this movie for the first time on our tiny little screen that'd be such a disappointment like when it comes to smaller movies like The Hunt Invisible Man those movies recently putting them on streaming makes sense but the big tentpole movies studios are not going to do that there's too much money to be lost True, but not everybody has a 65-inch TV, or a really good surround sound system. And, it, and more than anything, though, it's it's not just that. It's the money. Like, studios already invested tons of money into it. They'd be losing a lot if they didn't put it in theaters. Hopefully all this corona... Uh, business will be cleared up by November, but um, we'll see. Am I a fan of Jurassic Park and Jurassic World? Uh, the original Jurassic Park? Yeah, that's the movie that I wouldn't be doing this right now if I didn't see Jurassic Park in, as a kid in theaters. Like, that's the movie that made me a fan of movies. I watched that movie so many times when I was a kid that I had still have chunks of it memorized. I can play them out beat by beat, sound for sound, in my brain. Ever played the park builders? You mean like Jurassic, the Jurassic Park builders? I played, what was it called? Operation Genesis? I played that. I haven't played the new one though. Fair dinosaur, it's the T-Rex. Always the T-Rex. I I I had to hold myself from weeping when I saw the T-Rex get his neck snapped by that Spinosaurus in Jurassic Park 3. After that, I was like, this movie, I hate this movie. That's over exaggerating it. I still watched it and I still bought it on video, but I still I hated it.
least favorite Godzilla movie, Godzilla Raids Again. Do I think Toho will let Warner Bros. have the rights after Godzilla vs. Kong comes out and it does fairly well? It has to do well. If it doesn't, I'm not sure. They might pull the rights back and do their own thing. If I were to make a direct a Godzilla film, how would I handle it and what direction I would go with? Probably, kind of probably similar to the MonsterVerse stuff where it's like serious but also involves the kind of campy stuff that you expect. Because I ain't going to touch the serious stuff. I'm not in a position to make a serious Godzilla film, like a super serious Godzilla film. Leave that to the Japanese. That's their thing. Rightly so. But I already have an idea for the sequel to 2014. I would probably make it a little darker. I would make Godzilla less hero-y and make him more, the lines more blurred between whether he's a good guy or a bad guy. I would make it so that he could, like, he could snap on a dime and humanity's constantly kind of treading on that line whether they're going to get him on their side or he's going to fight back. That's why I think the American Godzilla movies do better than the Japanese ones. I mean, technically, that's obvious. They just have the resources to do whatever they want. And I think that they are able to... They do a pretty good job balancing the fantastical elements with the realistic elements. The Japanese films tend to go just full-blown, like, fantasy. And I think that's part of what creates that wall between fans and casual people. Would I ever consider making commentary tracks? I have thought about that, yes, but I'm not, I'd have to... It depends on if I have anything of value to add to it. Because if I'm just going to sit there and just say, this scene's cool, or, or something like that, then it just seems kind of pointless. Unless people want to hear me talk and ramble about a movie. I don't know why anybody would unhear that, but, I mean... <laughs> what are my thoughts on Shin Godzilla? Well, Mr. Penguin, I have an entire 20 minute long video that goes over that, so... If that will explain it much better than I could right now, so check that out if you're interested. What about co-op commentary? Yeah, I've thought about that, because I have... I have a friend who's seen some Godzilla movies that I showed him when I was in high school. Um... So maybe having a commentary, one with an expert, one with a novice, that would kind of be an interesting dynamic. Maybe throw some drinks in there to liven things up. Who knows? My favorite scene in 2014, the airport scene. I'll probably make like a top 10 Godzilla moment video at some point. That's definitely going to be in the top 5 because that whole scene from beginning to end is near perfection. That's probably what puts it over the line into me preferring it more than King of the Monsters is because that the craftsmanship in that scene alone 
is just stunning. Thanks for stopping by, Mr. Penguin. Glad to see ya. Yeah, there's something he said about how the Japanese films, they don't hide things with fog and snow and rain and all this stuff. Like, it's all just put out in the open. And if, you, if you're into it, then you're into it. Favorite piece of Godzilla media outside movies and games? That's a tough one. I'm gonna probably default to, uh, there's this, I don't know how many issues it was, there's this Dark Horse series where Godzilla fights a bunch of alien hunters, like they come to Earth, they're originally hunting a giant bat, and then Godzilla killed the bat, and then they're like, oh, this monster's even more powerful, let's hunt him. And so the whole story is just these hunters coming down. They're like 50 feet tall, and they're like shooting him with these giant arrows, and he fights a giant spider. It's pretty cool. If Toho came to me and asked me if I'd like to be one of their English voice actors for the next Japanese Godzilla, would you say yes? Yes, of course I'd say yes. I'd be a fool not to say yes to that. Because it's not like the benchmark for quality dubbing is that good anyway, so even if I'm terrible, it's fine. Mothra vs. Godzilla is worse than King of the Monsters. I mean, that's your opinion. Everyone's welcome to their opinions, as long as they're genuine. What scrapped unfinished Godzilla films would you have made if you could change time? I'm not sure. I can't I can't think of any off the top of my head other than Godzilla vs. Ghost Godzilla and Godzilla vs. the Devil, both of which sound stupid, so I don't want to see those. Am I excited or indifferent for Godzilla vs. Kong? I'm excited. How can I not be? It's the first time they've fought since 1962. It's almost like the world is intentionally putting their their second round off just to up the stakes. Baron needs another shot in a Godzilla movie. Yes, he does. He would have been in GMK if Toho didn't say, no, nah, not popular enough, put Mothra in there. Varen and Baragon, man, they, got, they really got the short end of the stick. Baragon's basically just a punching bag. What are my thoughts on the King Kong attractions at Universal? I can only comment on the old one, 
that they before they I think it burned down or they tore it down. I can't remember, but I remember I went to actually got to see that when I was a kid. I remember it being pretty cool. You find it ironic that the movie is coming out the same week of the election? I hadn't thought of that. <laughs> that is kind of funny. So then I have to ask, who would you vote for in an election? Godzilla or King Kong? What would their policies be? Interesting question. No, I don't hate GMK. I'm saying the movie would be better if it wasn't King Ghidorah and Mothra. Corona exists to give more attention to Godzilla vs. Kong. But you should try to work that into the plot somehow. Which means more reshoots. Push the movie back to April of 2021. Oh, sorry Alex, my bad. It is competing with No Time to Die, but do James Bond movies do that well? How well did the last one do? Wasn't the last one not very good? Spectre? Is that what it was called? I can't remember. Did that movie do well? I know they tend to do pretty good, but it probably depends on the movie. Alright, see you later, Chris of the Dead. Godzilla would just sit in the president's chair and do nothing. He would do nothing until something catastrophic happens, and then he would get off his duff and get into action. And he'd get stuff done. Godzilla's a warmonger? How, how so? He just, sits, he just sits underwater all day long. The guy just wants to be left alone. Especially the legendary Godzilla. He's just like, I just want to sleep underwater. Let me be, you stupid humans. Whereas Kong's all like, worship me. Although I don't think he coursed the humans into worshiping him. Reptilian is the best. Is that the Korean? Or not, it's not Korean. Based on Young Gary? Are you talking about that movie? Inspector Who Reacts. I actually had Godzilla vs. Avengers where they captured him and sent him back in time. I have two issues of the Marvel Godzilla comics. Vintage. It's funny, I, when I read those when I was a kid, I'm like, who's Thor? Who's Iron Man? And nowadays, it's like, everybody knows who those characters are. So it's pretty funny.
you think Reptilian is better than 54 Shin in 2014? I mean, of course it is. With the terrible CGI and the awful acting and the dumb story. It's great. I remember watching Reptilian on the Sci-Fi channel when I was young, and even back then, I was like, this is terrible. <laughs> what do I think of Call of Duty Modern Warfare? Not interested. Now, Doom, on the other hand, that's my jam. I've been playing that tons lately. Godzilla would turn the Republic into a monarchy. Does God has Godzilla ever demonstrated any attempts to being, like... He's labeled the king of the monsters, but he never actually, like foist his kingness on anybody. He's not like Joffrey from Game of Thrones or something. Why do I always want aliens and everything? When did I say that? <laughs> I'm not against them, it just depends. Anything about the current Godzilla design I would change? Not with the 24 like 24 the 2019 King of the Monsters design literally fixed the only minor things I didn't like about the 2014, which is the spines and the feet. So it's pretty much perfect. Ed boy, yes, I did finish the game already. When I stopped last time, I didn't realize I was only like 30 minutes away from the ending. I would have kept playing last time, honest, to be honest, if, I, if I'd known that. Make his head bigger, less thick neck? I could see that. Although when I look at my SH... Uh, Monster Arts figure, the neck looks pretty solid. What do I think about the Alien franchise? Uh, next to Jurassic Park, that's also a movie series that got me into filmmaking. Alien is my favorite movie of all time. Yes, yeah, boy, these are on the channel, so you can rewatch them. I haven't taken them down. I don't plan to. Who do I think will win, Predator or Doom Guy? Doom Guy would beat everybody. Doom Guy might even be able to kill Godzilla, to be honest. Like he's that ridiculous. Who am I kidding? No, he wouldn't be able to. But he's pretty powerful. Will I make stop motion animations? I have thought about it, yes. Especially since I'm cooped up inside all day. I just gotta get the motivation to do it. I used to do that stuff when I was a kid. Gabara versus Doom Guy? Doom Guy. 
Especially since Gabra is just a imaginary monster. Hello, Michael Inamorado. There's your shout out. Do I play God of War? Yeah, I'm a big fan of that series. I love me some Greek mythology. Although nowadays it's not based on Greek mythology. Who do you think? What do you think about Godzilla versus Gremlins? <laughs> That's a weird matchup. I don't know how much you'd get from that. You need a, you need a lot of Gremlins to take Godzilla down. Would Godzilla fight Kratos? If Kratos picked a fight with him, yeah. That would be an interesting fight, actually, because Kratos has fought giant creatures. And he is a god. But so is Godzilla. So that'd be a pretty tough one. Goodbye, Robert Bohannon. Can I tell you what I think of Reptilian 1 through 5? Is do you mean by rating? I've only seen the 1999 one, and it's, it's if I remember correctly, that's like a one-star movie. Though who knows, maybe it's more fun if I rewatch it. My favorite boss fight in God of War 3? Uh, I'm trying to remember them all. I really like the Hercules fight just because I like pounding his face in until it becomes mulch. The Poseidon fight's pretty good too. God of War games always have the best openings. <laughs> Hello Tyrannozilla94, the game was wonderful. Unfortunately, I stopped last time at with like half a minute, with half an hour left, so that's why I'm sitting here just talking. Ever played Dark Souls or Bloodborne? Haven't played Dark Souls. Have played Bloodborne. Love Bloodborne. The art design in that game is amazing. Did I play Assassin's Creed Odyssey? No, but I have played Assassin's Creed 1, 2, and 3. And then the third game disappointed me with its ending, and I stopped. Do I care more about storytelling or themes of a movie? Both matter. If your storytelling sucks but you have good themes, then the movie, then the story sucks. But if you have good storytelling but the themes i guess storytelling matters because even a, mo a movie or a story without good themes if it's well told and engaging then it doesn't really matter does it so i guess storytelling though both do matter
Have I ever met Monster Island Buddies? I haven't met him, but I've watched some of his videos. Do I love Super Smash Bros? Yes, I do. It's like the greatest fighting series of all time. What movie reviews are going? am I going to do next? Well, the Mothra starts with an... Well, I just said it on accident. <laughs> Mothra. I was going to say the monster's name starts with an M and ends with an A, but then I said Mothra on accident, so there's your answer. The Dark Knight trilogy is a perfect example of great storytelling and theme. I can agree with that. Who's my Smash Bros main? I, I divvy myself up between uh, Samus and Yoshi. Those are like my two main when I'm serious, but sometimes I'll, you know, do Bowser or Charizard or something. What's my favorite Godzilla figure I own? I don't own that many. I have like three. So probably the SH Monster Arts one. Just because it's the most detailed. Reptilian review, please. I will review it at some point. It's on the list. Probably not this year, but at some point. Who would win, Gabara or Ibera? Uh, well, Gabara has his electricity hand, so all he's got to do is get in the water with Ibera and start shocking him and fry him. So I'm going to go with Gabara. Would I ever play any of the PS2 Godzilla games? I've played I played Save the Earth on this channel at least once, maybe twice. I mean they're they're fighting games, so I can only play them for so long because there's nothing really else to hold my interest. My favorite horror movie other than Alien? The Thing? I'll probably lean towards that. There's a lot though. <laughs> but I'm gonna go with that. What's my favorite and worst Godzilla suit? My favorite suit is the Bio Goji, the suit used in Godzilla vs. Biollante. The worst is got to be one of the show era ones for sure. Oh, Son of Godzilla, duh. That suit's just terrible. I get what they were going for with it, but it just doesn't really work. But then Minya looks terrible too, so it all it all works together. Who do I want to win in Godzilla vs. Kong? I'm always on Godzilla's side. I always have been. I've never switched allegiances. I never will. Respect to those that do uh, vote for Kong, but I'll always go with Godzilla.
Have I played Horizon Zero Dawn? That's on the list of games I want to play. I almost bought it a couple days ago. Because with all the free time I have these days, I've been playing more games, so... What is my favorite ocean predator? I don't have a favorite ocean predator. <laughs> I don't know, great white shark. The, cl the cliche answer. No, we'll go with goblin shark. Will I ever live stream any Godzilla games? I've live streamed quite a bit of them. Uh, I mean, maybe you weren't here for them, but yeah, there's a back catalog. I played a bunch of for Godzilla's birthday last year, I played a bunch of old school Godzilla games. I played both Melee and Save the Earth. Is that it? At least all those. Oh yeah, and uh, the PS4 Godzilla game. I played the crap out of that. There's probably at least like five hours of that on the channel. Could any of the Belmonts from Castlevania beat Godzilla? I'm not familiar with Castlevania, so I'm gonna... I don't know, but I'm gonna lean towards no, because that's usually how I lean towards anything with Godzilla. Did I already do the Super Nintendo Godzilla? Yeah. I mean, I didn't play them for very long, because I was trying to shove in a bunch of Godzilla games all together. So you're probably looking at like 20, 30 minutes. But yeah, I did play it. Space or ocean, what would I explore? Uh, probably space, I guess. It's a tough one, though, because with ocean, you're more likely to come across a lot more things, but with space, it's just so much more empty. But the there's so much more you could discover at the same time. How big of a fan of I, am I of Star Wars? I'd say I'm a between casual and hardcore fan, which just means that I grew up with them, I like them, I can quote lots of things from them, and I know a lot about them, but I'm not like super into the lore or anything. Not the biggest fan of the current sequel trilogy, or really anything Disney's put out with Star Wars. Uh, so yeah. But I'm, since I'm not that big of a fan, it doesn't really bother me that much. I'm not one of those people that's like super upset, though I sympathize. Can I rate all the Gamera movies worst to best? Hey, maybe that's an idea for a video. Thanks for the idea. I don't know why I didn't think of that. Do I like Red Dead Redemption 2? I bought that game right when it came out, got pretty far into it, haven't touched it for well over a year now. Not because the game sucked or anything, just because other stuff came up. up SM Creviball 14 
So Alex's YouTube channel, are you just like, is this all, are you just spamming or is this all actual facts that you're spouting? Do I have a Wikizilla account? No, I do not. I do go on there from time to time if I need some facts, though. So it's a good resource. What three Godzilla movies would be the best to introduce to a noob? The original, for sure. Uh... <sighs> After that, it's kind of hard. Probably GMK is probably a decent one. Not counting the Monsterverse films, because that is made for plebs. If I had the Infinity Stones, what would I do? I don't know. I'd probably use the Time Crystal to freeze time when I sleep and stuff, so I'm not wasting time. I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I would create infinite resources for people. There you go. I would do the opposite of what Thanos did. If I hosted a kaiju profile, which monster would I like to talk about? Um, Anguirus. I've always had a soft spot for Anguirus. I just really like the design. And I like how in the later show era films, he's like Godzilla's, the Robin to Godzilla's Batman. And ever since then, he's been, he has been given his time to shine. It's about time. Have I watched Godzilla the series? I am currently almost finished rewatching it because I watched it when I was a kid because I plan on doing a retrospective uh, video about it. So stay tuned for that. They're probably one of my biggest videos. Yes, Inspector Who Reacts, I have played Alien Isolation and I think it's the greatest alien content since Alien 3. I had to put up with the disappointing aliens Colonial Marines uh, but at least we got Alien Isolation, so I'm not that angry, honestly. If I had to choose between one or the other, I'm more of an alien guy than an aliens guy, so I prefer a survival horror alien game to an action game. Do I think Godzilla should be the villain in GVK? Depends. I think the idea of him turning on mankind for some reason is a decent premise, but there has to be a good reason for it. King of the Monsters and Rise of Skywalker have one thing in common, a lot of fan service. Okay, but at least King of the Monsters wasn't trying to end a trilogy that started back in the 70s with fan service. Big difference.
If your life depended on it, which would you watch? Godzilla's Revenge or Godzilla 98? Well, Revenge is like an hour shorter. So I'm going to choose that. What's my favorite monster from Godzilla the series? Spirit of the Swamp. That I don't doesn't sound familiar to me. Is I think my favorite monster from Godzilla the series is probably the Cobra, the King Cobra, which also happens to be in the best episode of Godzilla the series. What's your favorite Mecha Godzilla? Uh, the original. I like the steampunk angular look of it. It's just very menacing. Do I think Zill deserves a second chance? I don't I don't know about that. I mean, I don't hate the monster or anything. Like, maybe some people do. And I think a lot of people have softened on it. I don't know if it needs another movie or anything, though. I think he had its time. Between the movie and the series, I think we got a good amount of Zilla. I had to be killed by Godzilla or have to watch raids again one million times, which is use oh my god. I mean I wouldn't want to watch any movie a million times. That's a tough choice. I have to calculate how long my life that watching is gonna take up, because if it takes up so much time I might choose death. Which Showa era kaiju would I want to return? Angerous. And if I couldn't choose Angerous, then I might pick Kumanga. Giant Spider's cool. He hasn't been used since... Well, not counting Final Wars. He hasn't been used in any real capacity since the Showa era. Do I think there should be a live-action Godzilla TV series? I don't know if it needs to be live-action, but I do- I would like a Godzilla TV series. I think doing like a Godzilla anime with like a 26 episode first season, you bring in all the mythology from the various generations, kind of mix it up into its own thing, would be awesome. And you get your you'd get your weekly dose, or it'd probably be on Netflix or something. So it's all it'd all be out at once. But you'd get a nice dose of Godzilla goodness outside of theaters. It'd be great. It's funny that my favorite monster first appeared in my least favorite. Yeah, I mean, the monster doesn't make the movie, though. It's like, Angers is cool and everything, but the movie that he was introduced in, eh, not very good.
Which Godzilla movie have I rewatched the most? I'm not sure, to be honest. If if we're going all the way back, then it might be Godzilla vs. Mechagodzilla 2, because I watched that one all the time when I was a kid, because that has, like, the most per capita monster action. Have I seen Westworld? Yeah, I, I like the show. I love the first season. Season 2 and 3 so far, they're fine, but I love the first season. Do I know who Jiras is? Yeah, he's that that where they put the they put the alien the lizard th frill around Godzilla's neck. And uh, I don't, if it, if it wasn't Ultraman, it was something else. See you later, Codex Machina. Favorite Bloodborne boss? I can't remember them all off the top of my head. Because it's been a long time. I remember the one girl who's praying at the altar and she becomes this creepy giant beast. That's the only one I can remember right now. Do you think we'll ever get another Godzilla console game? If we do, it's going to be another budget title like the PS4 game. We're never going to get a big budget Godzilla game. Not unless at some point in the future the franchise becomes super popular. What sounds better, a sequel to Godzilla 2000 or Destroya? Probably Destroya, because I'd like to see what Godzilla Jr. is up to. Would I rather see Godzilla vs. Gamera or Godzilla vs. Jaegers? Gamera. Always. That's the one everybody wants. How cool do I think if they rebooted Zone Fighter and Godzilla and some monsters from the show came back too? I haven't watched Zone Fighter, so I can't comment on that. Zone Fighter is where Jiras is from, right? Jiras. What a name. What am I going to do with the channel? There's still long waiting for... Godzilla versus Kong. Keep reviewing uh, kaiju movies while making longer Godzilla related videos interspersed. And other things. 2000 versus Reptilian? Well, Reptilian, of course. Oh, he is from Ultraman? Okay. I get Zone Fighter and Ultraman confused because I don't know that much about them. Though I am trying to correct that because I have started watching Ultraman. Have I heard about Godzilla vs. Sinfo Gear? I have no idea what that is. Have I seen The Terminator? I I've seen all the movies. The first two are good. <laughs> Hey, 
Hey, what's up? I really enjoy your channel and your pants and kaiju films. Thank you. Do you think Hollywood would bring over the Gamma franchise to make an American version? Would they bring it over? No, because it's too niche, unfortunately. Um, could they? Uh, yeah, they could, and I think it would be cool, but it's never going to happen. If Shin Goji and Showa Goji met, what would they do? They would shake hands and get along just great. Because they're both Godzilla. They have nothing to fight about. Do I know anyone who's starting to get into kaiju and other kaiju related media? Uh, personally, no. How bad do you think <laughs> do you think Prometheus and Covenant are? Um, not terrible, but not very good. Which is surprising coming from Ridley Scott, though he seems to be very hit or miss. Do I like Terminator Salvation because I think it's underrated? Yeah, I could see how people would say it's underrated. Especially nowadays with the movies that are coming out. Uh, it's I definitely look at it more positively than I did when it initially came out. But I still don't think it's very good. There's just something missing. Yeah, I like Prometheus more than Covenant. Covenant is just a mess. Do I think Gamera has a chance of getting into the MonsterVerse like some rumors claimed? No, absolutely not. All those rumors are... Uh, they're just fans grasping for straws. It's never going to happen. Gamera belongs to a different studio, and he's too niche for them to bother getting the rights. Better than Genesis and Dark Fate? Oh yes. I'll take Salvation over those. Actually, no, scratch that. I kind of like Genesis. As long as you don't take it too seriously. I find it more entertaining than Salvation. But Dark Fate, that movie sucks. Godzilla is niche to a certain point, but he's not nearly as niche as Gamera. If you go up to a random person and say, who's Godzilla? They'll be able to say, oh yeah, he's that fire-breathing dinosaur. Um, but if you go up to a random person and say, who's Gamera? They're going to be like, who? Like, Godzilla has had multiple American movies made. He's had commercials. He's had multiple media tie-ins, not just in Japan, but across the world. Gamera has had none of that. No Godzilla vs. Kong trailer today. I didn't even know it was supposed to come out today.
Do I think an anime camera film could, would work? Sure. Gamera has been uh, adapted into manga and stuff, so it could work. Have I seen The Mandalorian? And what's your thoughts on it? I watched the first three episodes, I think. It was fine. Production value is amazing. But there are other things to watch that I'm more interested in. Goodbye, crazy chickenzilla. Make sure to rewatch Reptilian again tomorrow, multiple times. What's my favorite Ray Harryhausen movie? I confess I'm not super knowledgeable on that, but I'm pro so I'll probably default to Beast from Twenty Thousand Fathoms because I have seen that movie. If I had a choice between bringing Gamera to the MonsterVerse or having Baggin in the movie, Gamera. Then again, I don't I can't even recall what Baggin is. I've heard the name before. ever make a video ranking Godzilla's atomic breaths? Maybe. You personally like Dark Fate, but would put the first two movies above it. Look, I don't like Dark Fate, but you can like whatever you want. No hate. Am I going to G-Fest? I want to, but it doesn't look like it's going to happen. So... <laughs> so next year, I guess. Which is funny, because this is going to be the first time I was going to go. So it figures the first time I try to go, a giant outbreak happens. What do I think the world would be like without Godzilla or any kaiju stuff? I don't know. That's uh, that's a butterfly effect, effect I have no idea. Two thousand three Clone Wars or two thousand eight? I haven't watched the two thousand eight one, but I do remember watching the two thousand three one, and I prefer two D animation to three D animation, so I'm gonna go with two thousand
What are my thoughts on 1990s Tremors? Uh, I, I like those movies a lot. I grew up watching the first three. No, yeah, first three. The first film was... I think after that they're all direct-to-video sequels. But I remember Love and Tremors 2 and 3. The Ass Blasters. What's a Godzilla figure I'd love to get? I don't know. I'm not much of a figure collector. The ones I've got uh, were mostly gifts that I've been given. I don't s go out and seek them out. So, probably that giant one that I saw online somewhere of the 2019 Godzilla. It's like this massive, highly detailed thing. Unknown Goji, it's never too late to make friends. It does get harder when you're older, that is true. But that just means you gotta put more work into it. But this isn't a therapy stream, so... Try to tone it down a little bit. Alright guys, I'm calling it a night now. <sighs> Looks like the stream's slowing down a bit. I'll be back with another game at some point. Soon. Alright guys, take care. I'll catch you later.